As smart home technologies play an increasingly significant part of our daily lives, so does the importance of maintaining the security of home automation platforms like Home Assistant. Adding security to Home Assistant is of utmost importance, especially if you regularly access it outside of your network and over the internet. In this video, we will look into eight security measures that we can employ to fortify our access to Home Assistant. Each of these security measures can be deployed on their own or can be combined with other measures to add an extra layer of security when accessing your Home Assistant. These security measures can also be applied not only to Home Assistant, but can definitely be applied whenever you access any application over the internet, on your self-hosted apps, on social media, email accounts. So by all means, if you want, please use these security measures as often as you can, whenever you can. First, we'll start with the most basic and obvious measure we can take, which is to make sure we create a secure and unique password. The foundation of any secure system lies in a strong and unique password. When creating a password, Make sure to create a complex password that is not easy to guess. Crafting a robust password involves using a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, special characters, and symbols. It is crucial to avoid easily guessable passwords and refrain from using the same password across multiple accounts. Regularly updating passwords enhances security by minimizing the risk associated with compromised credentials. Using password managers is highly recommended and can help us create stronger passwords, maintain security, and also reduce the risk of reusing passwords across different applications. There are different password manager applications to choose from. Some are free, some are paid, and some, like Bitwarden, also have enterprise editions. Whichever you choose is fine. I think any password manager that you're comfortable with using is infinitely better than using a piece of paper or not having one at all. Another security measure commonly employed with a secure password is two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication adds an additional layer of security by requiring users to provide a second form of authentication beyond the password we created. This typically involves receiving a temporary code on a secondary device, such as a smartphone or tablet. Two-factor authentication significantly reduces the likelihood of unauthorized access, even if a password is compromised. Two-factor authentication goes beyond just your password, which requires a second piece of information like a code sent to your phone, a fingerprint scan, or a security key. This makes it significantly harder for attackers to gain access, even if they know your password through phishing, data breaches, or other means. It significantly reduces the effectiveness of stolen passwords and protects your sensitive data. There are a number of free authenticator apps we can use such as Google Authenticator, Authy, Microsoft Authenticator, and so on. The third security measure on my list is using a hardware authentication device. There are different brands of hardware authentication devices available, but one of the most popular and most trusted is YubiKey. Hardware authentication devices provide an extra layer of security through hardware-based authentication. These hardware devices implement a one-time password algorithm, or HOTP, and a time-based one-time password algorithm, or TOTP, over USB. YubiKey is a hardware device that supports OTP, U2F, and FIDO2 protocols. I don't know what exactly they mean, but in a nutshell, it allows users to log into accounts by emitting OTPs or using public and private key pairs generated by the device. YubiKey also allows storing static passwords that can be used for sites or apps that do not support OTP. By integrating YubiKey support into Home Assistant, users can require physical possession of a YubiKey device in addition to a password for access. This method adds an additional barrier against unauthorized access, particularly effective in mitigating the risks associated with stolen or leaked passwords. The way to enable this is similar to the way you would enable two-factor authentication via an authenticator app. Go to your Home Assistant dashboard and click on your profile. Scroll down to Multi-Factor Authentication Modules, then click Enable. This will generate a QR code. If you're using an authenticator app, Usually on your phone, you would scan this within the app using the camera. Here I am using Authy, which is a great example of an authenticator app. When it finishes setting up, you would then enter the six digit code into Home Assistant. If you're using YubiKey, plug in YubiKey into your PC. Use a USB C adapter if needed. Download the YubiCo Authenticator app from the YubiCo website. Then follow the prompts to set it up. 
I've already installed the Yubico app earlier, so I'll just cancel. Assuming you've already set up Yubiki, you would go into the Yubiki app. Then following the prompts, you would add Home Assistant to the list. Click on Add Account. Make sure the QR code generated by Home Assistant is visible, then click on Scan QR Code on the Yubico app. It is recommended that Required Touch is selected, then Save. To log in, you would touch the circle to get the one-time passcode, and then paste it on to Home Assistant. It's a really awesome way of adding another layer of security to your accounts. The fourth security measure protects against brute force attacks, and this is enabling IP ban on Home Assistant. IP banning is a very effective measure to deter brute force attacks, and this measure is free. All we need to do is add some lines of code via the Studio Code server in Home Assistant. Through this method, Home Assistant can be configured to detect and block repeated failed login attempts from specific IP addresses. After typing in the lines of code and restarting Home Assistant, IP ban is now enabled. The fifth measure we can take is by using a VPN when accessing Home Assistant. Establishing a VPN connection adds an extra layer of security when accessing Home Assistant remotely. VPN connections become especially crucial and necessary when you are using public unsecured Wi-Fi networks. The sixth security measure is isolating IoT devices onto a dedicated network to contain potential security vulnerabilities. Because IoT devices are always exposed, they can be easily hacked. By segregating these devices from our main network, the impact of a compromised smart device on Home Assistant is minimized. This approach prevents unauthorized access through vulnerable IoT devices, bolstering the overall security posture. Another security measure that comes into mind is making sure to keep your Home Assistant operating system updated. Keeping your software up to date is crucial for several reasons. Software updates often include patches that fix security holes and vulnerabilities, and sometimes introduce new security features like stronger encryption methods or improved malware detection algorithms. And finally, make sure when accessing Home Assistant, be sure to enable HTTPS. By enabling HTTPS, your access to Home Assistant is encrypted. This can be achieved several ways. By setting up a local DNS server, subscribing to Home Assistant Cloud, or using Let's Encrypt or Duck DNS, rather than accessing your Home Assistant using the IP address. In conclusion, securing access to Home Assistant requires a multifaceted approach that addresses various potential vulnerabilities. Each measure contributes to a robust and comprehensive security strategy. Digital threats are evolving every day, staying vigilant and adopting a proactive stance towards security measures is imperative to safeguard the integrity and privacy of your home assistant server in the ever-expanding realm of smart homes. That's it for now. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching.